not Emmer. Hey folks, welcome to another episode of Not Evident Makes Me Angry. On this episode I'm going to play a game that I've, I've, I've liked for quite a while now. It's called SD, The Great Battle. Now it's a Super Famicom game. It's a very early release for the Super Nintendo. It was a Christmas period from 1990. It, um, it was both published and developed by a company called um, Bam Presto. You can see their little logo there. It stars three heroes from Japanese culture. Ultraman, Cayman Rider and a Gundam Mech. You can switch in between these three um, characters while you're playing the game. And each one has a a different weapon, different strengths, different weaknesses. It makes the game fun. It's a top-down shooter game with elements of platforming to it. It's actually a really good game. You can buy it cheap, cheap on the internet if you actually want it. Just looking now on eBay, the cheapest one I can find is one pound thirty-seven and two pound thirty-five postage. That's three pounds seventy-two. And that's that. That's this game. I'm going to show you this game now. It's worth that kind of money. If you've got a retro on five, you got any way of playing foreign games, then I'd suggest buying these SD great battle games because they're all pretty good <sighs> now on the cartridge it literally just shows you the big bad guy at the back who's you got to defeat and then these characters at the front are your little characters <sighs> it's a fantastic game I'm going to give you a little playthrough now Okay, this is SD, the Great Battle. Now the SD stands for Super Deformed. Now anybody watching this may actually question, why would you want to play Super Famicom games? Surely it's all in Japanese. You'd be surprised how many Japanese games are actually English friendly. This one is quite English friendly. The storyline, which do you really need to follow the story, is mostly in Japanese. But everything else comes across to you in English. Ban Presto. Watch. In the options, it's all English. Start the game. It's English. This is the only bit that's Japanese. That Transition scenes. The story, and you don't really need the story. You know what the story is. You need to save the fucking world. You need to save your friends. Now, where's our characters? Ultraman's the little red guy. Cayman Rider is the little turquoisey guy. And the Gundam RX-78-2. He's the, he's the robot. <laughs> Now you swap between characters, you just literally press <coughs> the right the right shoulder button. There's the Cayman Rider. There's the Gundam Mech. And there's our friend Ultraman. His weapon is I haven't I don't even know, he's shooting at them. Oh. Look at the graphics, the graphics are beautiful. You press the red button A to jump. The X button is like a, is like a special ability. The Y doesn't seem to actually do anything in this game. And the, the, the left shoulder button doesn't do anything either. Might seem a bit tricky at first doing them jumps, but... Now this is like a collectible thing that sticks around me for a little while. Now 
it's quite simple to be honest this game I actually prefer the Cayman Rider. I think his weapons are a little more powerful. I'm taking a bit of damage here to be honest. I love the music. Listen to that music. It's amazing. Dun, dun, dun. It's so Japanese. Ooh, I have some candy floss for you. Ah. Let's get the, the Gundam neck on the go. Look at him. Just giant, big giant metal monster. I kill you. Oh yeah, this dragon thing. Boom, take that. Oh, oh fuck me. I don't have much life left here. Boom. He died. It says something about, I killed something. I shall move to the next scene. Because then this is an early release for this, for the Super Famicom. I actually think the graphics are pretty decent for it too. It's colorful, it's vibrant. Take that weird metallic Kenny from South Park. Oh, there's that ball that hates me. I swear, this ball chases you everywhere. It, it just. It's a life of its own. Go away. He looks like some sort of snake. Oh. He did. I molested him to death. Oh, angry ball. No, no, angry Kenny's. Robotic mechanic. Okay. Look, look, the ball's faster than me. Is it fair? I'm not sure what I'm shooting out. What's a boot? I'm I'm shooting boots. There's another Ultraman. Oops, fuck out, slow down. I've never suffered, I've never felt slow down this game before. God damn it. Boom, take that. Gotta stop going to the Prometheus school running away from things, to be honest. I'm 
And I've just saved Ultraman something something. I actually do not know what his name is. But now I can play him as a character as well. He's a new playable character for me. Every time you save a character, you can add them to your roster of characters to play as. He's not Ultraman, so he's a, he's, a, he's a Cayman Rider, isn't he? I think I'll leave it there. That's a fucking great game. Did you enjoy that game? Hopefully, you like the look of that, and you go out and buy it, and spread the good word of SD The Great Battle, because all of those games are fucking fantastic. There's, there's not much wrong with them. They just play happy. They play well. Nice big sprites. Each one of them got something different about each other. And the later games get even better. I swear to you, the later games get even better. Some of them are side-scrollers. They're just really good. Anyway, I was using me, me commander controller for this because I, I, it's easier when you need to shoot your, your weapon rather than tap, 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 tap. You just hold the fucking button down. And now it's, it's a fantastic game. I give that probably a seven or an eight out of ten. I'll say seven and a half out of ten. You know, it's a, it's not a perfect game. It's a bit slow. The enemies are, you know, they're, they're, they're stupid. The enemies they don't fucking do much. They stand there and die. The en the baddy bosses they literally have a set routine: fire out the projectiles, jump at you, repeat. You know, it, it, it's it's typical old style um, baddie bosses, but it's a fun game. It's a game that you can literally just put on play. The levels don't take too long to go through. It's fun. I do actually have a couple more of these SD The Great Battle games, which I'll show you right there. They're all good fun. They're all good fun. Um. They start getting more and more expensive as they go up in the in the series, but th th these two are still pretty cheap. You can get each of these for for fifteen pounds each or less, which for games of the quality of these are, I think, is a fucking bargain. I think it's a bargain. Remember, if you want to buy games from abroad, buy them. Buy yourself a Retron Five or anything else that can play foreign games. It's worth it. You can buy great games, cheap, cheap. And some of these games that you've probably never even heard of. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe and share. Buy that game because it's a great game and you'll enjoy it. I'm Gaz Cavalera. I'll see you next time, guys. Not Emma.